Hello everyone, welcome to David Griffith's Electrodynamics. This is problem 2.22. The problem asks us to find the potential at a point, um, at a point, uh, a distance s from an infinitely long straight wire that contains a uniform charge, line charge of lambda. And once we've found the potential to calculate the gradient to check that we've got the correct electric field. And I've written down the electric field um, of from this charge configuration. So this is problem 2.13, which I've already solved. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it to see how we got this answer. But we have to use the electric field. Um, to, to calculate the potential right now, we need to already know the electric field. Um, that will change in the future. We will figure out ways to calculate the uh, potential without knowing the electric field beforehand. But right now, um, we need we don't have any other way. And so I've started writing down the equation for the potential, which is equal to negative of the integral of E dot DL. Like that. And so we know, you know, there's only one uh, like space here to really deal with. So the electric field in the region of our point is equal to this. And DL here, um, you know, you could think about this in sphere, uh, not spherical, but cylindrical coordinates. And our electric field only has an S hat component. And our um, DL uh, is just going to be DS. If you looked at, you can find what DL would be written in, uh, in terms of cylindrical coordinates in the front of the book and, and see that for yourself. But when you dot this together, you're just going to get this dot, uh, times ds, basically. So I'll write that out. So we have negative the integral, and we have to write our bounds. So our bounds are going to be, well, our reference point for this is just going to be um, infinity, I believe. Will that work? No. I don't think infinity is going to work here. And instead, let's just use a reference point of A. I think infinity is going to give us uh, an answer that it's not going to it's not going to work. And I'm, I might show you why at the end. So let's just say that A is a point very very far away from this wire, uh, not infinitely far, but so far away that it's almost considered infinitely far. It's just not infinity. And we're going to go from our point A out in space to our point S. And then e dot dl, this is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught to lambda. I'm going to change our integration variable to s prime since the bound is s. So 2 lambda over s prime and then dot dl, that's going to give us the ds prime. All right, so everything here is a constant except the 1 over s prime. And that's going to be just the integral of 1 over s prime uh, with respect to the, uh, s prime. So that's going to be the natural log, I believe. So we have minus 2 lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught. I could cancel the 2, but I'm not. The natural log. Oh, yeah, this is why the infinity wouldn't work. Because natural log of infinity... Uh, is nothing. So um, let's see. So we have the natural log of uh, s minus. It'll be the natural log of s minus the natural log of a, which would just be the natural log of s uh, over a. If I remember my natural logarithm rules correctly. And yeah, I think that's it. Simple enough, honestly. <laughs> that's 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 pretty much it for this for the potential. So, if you're wondering how I did that integral, that's just one of the standard integrals. Um, the natural log or the integral of one over x with respect to x is just the natural log of x. Um, that's just a standard integral that you should remember. Um, I you, there are proofs for it, but um, honestly, it's just better just to remember it 
you can if you're really curious and you haven't you really just want to see the proof for how that works uh, be my guest and, and Google it or YouTube it there's definitely people who have solved it I'm sure so now let's just calculate the gradient of this and make sure that we get back our electric field and that should confirm our answer so the gradient and remember the the, the relationship between the electric field and the potential is that um, e is equal to minus gradient of V so let's just write that here e is equal to the minus gradient of V so let's calculate the minus gradient of V here and that's this minus sign is going to cancel out with this minus sign and then we'll just have the gradient of 2 lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught natural log of s over a um, let's see this is going to be a gradient and this is in spherical co uh, cylindrical coordinates so let me look up this, uh, the gradient in cylindrical coordinates real quick in the front of the book so let's see oh uh, okay, so we're going to have the derivative of it with respect to S. We don't have any phi or Z components here. So yeah, we just have, it's just going to be the derivative of this with respect to X. So easy enough. So, well, this is a constant, so that's not going to be affected by the derivative. However, we are calculating the derivative of the natural log function. Sorry about that, my computer's making noises. And the derivative of natural log function is also um, a standard thing. And the, it's, I mean, we already know, if you know the integral of the natural log is one over S, then the derivative of natural log, or if you know the derivative, uh, sorry, the integral of one over S is the natural log, then the derivative of the natural log should be one over X. Like, that's just how it works, because they're inverses of each other. So we get, um, here we get two lambda over um, four pi uh, epsilon naught. Sorry, I'm just double checking something. So if you write this out, it'll be the derivative with respect to S of so I just pull out the constants on the derivative, and we can rewrite this as the natural log of s minus the natural log of a. And the, and a is a constant here. So, it's, so when you do this, it's going to be this is just a constant, so that's zero. So we just have this, and that, and the derivative of natural log of s will be one over s. So um, that's sorry, gotta find something with that I can write on. So. The electric field then would just be what we had. It'd be two lambda over four pi epsilon naught s on the bottom in the s hat direction, which is what we started with over here. Oh man, there we go. Sorry about that. It's all blurry. And that's about it. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, and uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll try to answer them. Hope this helped, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.